Hello, my name is Leonard Schepers and I work for uh, Flanders Marine Institute in Belgium and I'm a data manager and we handle biological data and all kinds of um, marine data. My name is Stefan Pesa. Uh, my background is in plankton ecology and I work as marine data curator at the European Bioinformatics Institute in Cambridge. We're going to walk you to one of the categories that is understanding the ocean. And it focuses on advancing our knowledge about plankton and the marine microbiome. We know a lot about it, but not too much. So we want to know more about the role they play in supporting the life in the ocean. And there are specific two challenges that we propose. And the first one is to map hotspots of plankton diversity and identify geographical gaps in our knowledge. The second challenge is to map the metabolic pathways of the marine microbiome, which are relevant for the prediction of ecosystem services in the Atlantic Ocean. Plankton are part of the marine microbiome, which constitutes the, uh, the very fabric of marine ecosystems. Uh, they support the ocean food webs and our fisheries, and they produce an estimated 50% of the planet's oxygen. Uh, the ocean microbiome also plays an important role in the biological carbon pump, the process by which plankton capture carbon from the atmosphere and store it in the deep ocean. Uh, in situ observations and remote sensing data help us understand what controls the distribution of plankton and their activity in the global ocean. Uh, more recently, uh, high throughput imaging and high throughput sequencing uh, have provided us with new tools and lots of data uh, to study marine microbiomes. Uh, however, despite this huge amount of data that is available, uh, our knowledge of plankton remains difficult to analyze uh, with integrative approaches. So we hope that collaborative platforms and cloud-based solutions like the Blue Cloud will help us crunch the big plankton data and, uh, and achieve innovative science. We asked different things from uh, the participants. And in the first challenge, we expect that um, the teams improve the knowledge of plankton presence, distribution, and diversity. And therefore, they have to complement existing maps, comparing existing data sets and biographies to identify uh, data gaps or hotspots. In the second challenge, your team is expected to first select metabolic pathways and select uh, environmental pathways from the CAG database, which is available online. Uh, second, to select gene clusters that potentially contribute to the, uh, the metabolic pathway that you've selected. And finally, to model the geographic distribution of the gene clusters using environmental data. So you will be building further on what we start to develop in Blue Cloud. Um, and we ask you to use at least one of the data sets, one model or a resource that is already available. We have a number of virtual labs, VLabs that are available. And there are two that link uh, to each of the challenges. So we have one about plankton essential ocean variables that deals with plankton uh, diversity and um, mapping the distribution. And we have a plankton genomics lab dealing with the marine microbiome. We do have several notebooks, uh, R scripts that can be run from these VLabs. So you can really use these tools and build further on them. And, but for each of these uh, virtual labs, we have specific tutorials that are available in the Blue Cloud Hackathon page. So please check those tutorials to be uh, more informative, to be more informed about them. Following on what Leonard just said, uh, you are free to use your own data, of course, uh, but the virtual labs already include all the data sets that are required to successfully complete the two challenges. Uh, these data sets include, for example, the World Ocean Atlas, which provides global environmental data, 
Uh, also, global phytoplankton products derived from remote sensing. Uh, also, regional zooplankton products derived from in situ observations, such as those from the continuous plankton recorder. Uh, and finally, uh, the marine atlas of Tara Ocean's unigenes, which provides uh, taxonomic and functional annotations. Also, the virtual labs uh, have a number of web services that are provided from uh, external platforms such as LifeWatch, Worms, and Marine Regions. Well, I think the best team will be a complementary team, but specifically for our challenge, for the first challenge, um, we recommend to have someone that is a bit familiar with plankton ecology or the essential ocean variables um, or e ecosystem modelers. To address the second challenge in this category, we recommend that your team include scientists with a strong background in genomics and in habitat modeling. Uh, also, during the hackathon, there will be mentors available with that sort of background. So if you need uh, support, if you are unsure about uh, how to, to use the, the tools, uh, then we will be there to help you. The ultimate uh, solution would be uh, maps. That would be great. Uh, for example, maps that show the gaps in phytoplankton data, uh, hotspots uh, of plankton diversity, maps that show the potential for carbon sequestration, or maps that show the potential for the biodiscovery of, of pharmaceutical compounds. And those maps, they can be regional, um, or they can focus, for example, on the Atlantic Ocean or the global ocean, that is uh, up to you. The originality of your solutions will likely come from the scientific question that you ask and from your choice of data. Uh, however, we recommend using the virtual labs as they are and spending your efforts on testing the VLabs with a range of questions and a range of data subsets uh, until you find an application that is both innovative and useful to advance our understanding of the ocean. So we hope that you will enjoy the challenges and uh, we see you at the hackathon. Good luck. Bye-bye.